now you can come back and I'm going to actually help him like for you. Okay, now we're going to use the beacon. Here you go. Here's the beacon. Okay, so this is an infrared beacon. And um, these would be waypoints. And you basically have a one beacon per waypoint. Now that it turns it on, now it's going to come... You seem to have a switch to my ballast. Um, now it's going to come to Jordy. And, um, and this is basically... Um, This is basically um, autonomy. This is uh, it knows it knows uh, it knows a little bit about about the room, and it knows a little bit um, about about where it is. It doesn't have an absolute frame of reference. Sorry, we'll reset the uh, reset the power as one does. It doesn't have an absolute frame of reference, so it doesn't have GPS, but it does have a relative frame of reference, which is to say that um, you know, in a room without, without too much wind and too many uh, distractions, it can, it can use a compass and maybe, and maybe uh, you know, these infrared beacons to find its way from waypoint to waypoint. And then at that point, you're dealing with things like, um, uh, like, like, like the, uh, the gravity models, uh, physics models. Um, Joy, why don't you take off a little ballast and, and avoid that? Um, why is that? And now you have physics models. And one of the funky things about blimps is that is that they they have a lot of inertial momentum, which is to say that that you know they move slowly, but once they you know once they're turning, then you need to sort of reverse give reverse thrust to to bring them back, and otherwise and otherwise um, uh, anticipate uh, where it's going. So uh, so this is kind of an interesting challenge, which is to say that the basic job of flying is not the job, not the hard part here. The basic the, the hard part is understanding the physics of light and air vehicles and being able to beat the other guys and doing something like getting to a uh, get, getting to a waypoint or following the course.